Hello again. In the last video you saw us setting up ScumVM to play Monkey Island. And you probably noticed that when we started the game it said there were some CD audio files missing. In order to extract these files we're going to use this program here called CDEX. Now this is a special program that's designed to extract or rip CD audio tracks from CDs. Now you can use a program like Windows Media Player to do this, but CDEX is ideal for using with ScumVM, as we'll see in a moment. So to download the program, you go to the CDEX homepage, click on the download link here, which forwards you to SourceForge and then the download will start. And again it's an executable file, you just save it and then run it when it's downloaded to install it. Okay, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with installing programs. So I've installed it on my machine and there it is, so I'll start it up now. And so I just resize this window to a sensible size. Okay, there we go. Right, so this is the CDX main window. And the first thing you need to do if you have more than one CD drive is to make sure you select the correct one here. So I'll select the drive there. And then the program tells you all the tracks that are on the CD. So on this CD we can see that the first track is a data track and then the rest are audio tracks, as we might expect. Now, since this is a compilation CD, there we are, it's actually got Monkey Island 1 and 2 on it, so in situations like this, you're going to have to figure out which audio tracks belong to which game. Now for Monkey Island, I happen to know that only Monkey Island 1 uses CD audio, so all of these tracks belong to Monkey Island. Right, so we want to select them all because we need them all. Okay, and the first thing to do is we need to change this track offset here. And what we're going to do is set this to minus one. Now the reason we do that is because uh, data track here is marked as track one. And then audio track here is marked as track two. So what we want to tell the program is that we want to take one off the track number, if you see what I mean. So track 2 now becomes track 1, and this is the format that ScumVM is expecting them to be in. So when we extract it, the program will rename track 2 to track 1, track 3 to track 2, etc. Right, so that takes care of that. So now I'm going to go into the options and set some other options. Right, we'll deal with the paths first. So, if we go on to directories and files, well, first of all, we need to set the output directory. That's this recorded tracks directory. So, let's change that now and we'll change it to our game folder. So, if you remember, that was games, scumvm. Monkey Island. Now this isn't the folder where you install ScumVM, this is the folder where you copy the data files from your original CD or even floppy disk and then point ScumVM to the folder. So this is the folder where your game data is. Right, so I click on OK. Now we have to figure out this cryptic file name format. Um, so let's start from blank. And ScumVM needs the tracks to be named track 1, track 2, track 3, etc. So first of all we're going to need track T-R-A-C-K. Now if you hover over this you can see all these little percentage and number items appear. So percent 1 equals artist, percent 2 equals album. So we're not bothered about artist or album, we're just bothered about track number. So if we type percent and three, then we're going to get track, track number. 
So track one, track two, track three. And that's exactly the format we need them in. So that's all set and ready. Now before you start, you're going to want to go over to encoding options and encoders here. Now there are two encoders you might typically use with this program. There's the FLAC or Free Lossless Audio Codec or there's good old MP3. So if I pick up on MP3 first. Now MP3 files are smaller but they have slightly less quality than the lossless encoder. Now if you do use the MP3 encoder there's one crucial thing you need to change and that is you need to turn off a VBR so make sure this VBR method is set to disabled now you can up the bitrate a little if you like to 160 or even 192 and basically all the other settings can be left as is now if you prefer you can use the black encoder here. Now this will encode the music and it should sound exactly the same as it does if you played it off of the CD. So if you've got a really fancy speaker system on your PC you might prefer this. So there aren't so many options to set here. Make sure stereo is selected. This compression level you can leave alone and when you're done click on OK. Right, so we've set all the options, we're actually ready to start encoding the music now. So you click on this button here, which down the bottom here will say extract CD tracks to compressed audio files. So click the button and the program starts working. Now this will take a few minutes, it shouldn't take too long on a fast computer, but I'll pause the recording here until it's finished. Okay, so the copying or ripping process is complete. So you can see here there are no errors. So if I go back to File Explorer now, and if I browse back to D, Games, Scum VM, Monkey Island, I can now see that the tracks are in the Monkey Island folder. So if I start Scum VM up again, and start the secret of Monkey Island and I get no warning message this time and that's it this game is now working perfectly in Scum VM and I can start playing and enjoy the music and the sound effects as I play and play the game perfectly on my modern Windows 8 PC. And that's all there is to setting up games in Scum VM. We'll have specific instructions for any troublesome games that we encounter over on playoldpcgames.com. Enjoy!